Many people are quickly realizing that you can actually build an app with AI and get it on the App Store. But most of these apps are relatively simple apps. Well, that was up until last week because now you can create a full iOS app with AI that has a database AI integrations like different APIs, and you can also accept payments. And you can do all of this without writing a single line of code and you can get the app on the App Store. And that's exactly what I'm about to show you right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to vibecode.dev and all you do is just type this into any browser and here we can build a mobile app. Okay, so this is my idea for an app. I wanna create an app that uses the brand new Nano Banana Pro. And we're basically just creating the front end shell of the app in the first prompt, but it will be for parents to help their kids with their homework. And so you're gonna be able to take a photo of your kid's homework and it's going to edit the image in such a way that it will be as if you wrote on the homework the correct answer and it will show all of the work. And we're gonna add the AI feature right after we use this first prompt. So all we need to do is just copy this first prompt we are going to use Claude Opus 4.5. We're going to paste in this prompt and we are going to run it. And so this is using Claude code. Vibe code app uses Claude code out of the box. So it's literally Claude code as if you were using it in your terminal. And now the app is loading. Okay, so it's done now. Okay, so we have it loaded up. Let's see this. And so I've actually prepared a homework assignment we can take a photo of. So we can take a photo of this homework. And ah, it has this little pencil animation. I like it. Our AI is carefully analyzing the problem and writing the solution step by step and bang. This is where the edit will come in. So now let's go ahead and add the AI feature here. All right, so now if we go to the API tab and we go to the image and we click Nano Banana Pro and we add it to the prompt, please can you allow me to use this API to add the correct answer and all of the work. So the prompt for the AI should be complete this assignment by writing the correct answer in pen and show all work for all problems. So we can add the AI feature. And so this is what we just entered a prompt. Now what we wanna do is we wanna actually create a database. So now what we can do is we can actually enable a backend. So we're gonna set up a Vibecode backend. Please move the AI feature to the backend and also add a database and authentication in order to store previous images generated, etc. So we just set up the vibe code cloud. Okay, so now the AI is done with the previous prompt and now it's implementing the back end. Here we can actually test and see if the app works. Let's go ahead and do that. We can now take our app, put it up to the homework. We'll take a photo here. Now it is working on it. Oh, and there you go. Look at that. It perfectly answered George Washington. It solved the math problem. Here it says racial injustice and moral courage. And then for four, I put this partial problem to see what it would do and it just didn't answer it. And so that is really cool. And here we can hit save. It's actually not gonna do anything because it hasn't yet implemented the backend. And so it's still doing that. So now we're gonna wait for the backend and database to be created. Okay, so it's done. Let's check it out. As you can see here, there's now a profile icon. I can select the profile icon and I can actually sign up. Okay, so I just signed up. Let's hit save. We'll go back to the app here. And so if I open up this document, now let's go ahead and take a photo of the homework. It's now working on it. Uh-oh, we got an error. Let's go ahead and just press fix and this is free. So when this happens, it's free for it to fix the issue. Now we'll just wait for the error to be fixed. Okay, so it is now done. Let's go ahead and take a look here. If we open up that Google Doc, let's go ahead and try this. Oh, it's done. And look at that. It solved it perfectly and it answered all of these questions. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press save. Now, if we go to the cloud tab and we go to the generated image tab, we should see it right here. There you go. We now have the image URL right here. So these images are being stored in the database and we can sign in. And so we have the database 
integrated perfectly and we have the different tables that we can just see directly in our web view and we can also see it within our mobile view as well as you can see here on the phone you can also see the entire database just like you can on the web and we have integrations and now we need to just be able to accept payments before we send it to the app store and this process is very simple just all you have to do is pinch and go to the payments tab. And once we have the payments tab open, and by the way, this is an identical process to if you do it on web. So this is the same exact thing. Uh, for now, I'll show you how to do it on web. You can just hit finish setup here. And then once it initializes, it basically created a project on Revenue Cat automatically. And so now we can make this a, uh, create a monthly subscription for 4.99. Also, I want you to please add a paywall screen so if the user has not paid when they go to click on a project hit them with a paywall um, like if they go to try and take a photo before they've hit a paywall right as they press the button a paywall should come up and it should make them pay the 4.99 per month in order to get access make that screen look professional and so we can run that and then very quickly what i'm going to do is go to the image tab we're going to do 3d render icon of a camera over a home assignment and I can copy this so that I can run it many times here we're gonna generate images all of these images can be placed directly into the app and we can generate audio as well I don't really want to generate audio for this one yeah and then we can add this prompt to the queue here I think I like this one right here so we can add this icon please use this icon on that paywall screen make this big make this the main icon slash image for this screen. And as you can see here, it uh, created a product, it created a price, and it is basically creating the whole offering within Revenue Cat. And if we come to Revenue Cat and we click on Study Sketch, we can see that it created this project and we have no active trials yet because no one's paid for you. Okay, so it's done. Let's give this a try. So now we have this open. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this right here for homework. Let's click Boom, there you go. Unlock with premium. If we hit start, now we can test the valid purchase. And as you can see here, if we go back to Revenue Cat, if we refresh our page, we should see, there we go, $5 revenue. So this is a test purchase. It won't be an actual purchase until you actually get it on the App Store. This is sandbox data, but this paywall did indeed work. You can see a few seconds ago, we did a test store of $5. And so we created an app with database, AI integrations, and it also accept payments, so a full backend. And now we can send it to the App Store simply by pinching. Now we're gonna hit publish to App Store and we're gonna hit get started. I've already signed in with my Apple developer account. I can just hit next, next. And now you just need an expo token, which I've already gotten. And now your app is on the way to the App Store and now it's going to be sent to test flight. And there you go. In this very quick video, you saw me create an app uh, with a front end, with a database, with AI integration. It accepts payments, so it has a fully integrated backend and we send it to the App Store. It's really that easy. I'll see you guys here for the next video.